Hey guys, welcome back to Brickhouse Vintage. My name is Heather and today we are going to be painting all of these things you see here behind me red for Christmas. It's about that time of year again when we should be getting our booth ready for Christmas. I feel like we're a little bit late this year. Um, but nevertheless, we are going to be painting all of these things with Ms. Mustard Seed milk paint. We have a metal milk can, a little uh, vintage cheese box that somebody painted with this lovely design that we're going to be covering up and this old child's chair. So if you want to see me get all of these things ready and festive for Christmas, just keep watching. So one of the things I really like to do in preparation for Christmas in our booths that we rent is to collect a bunch of small to medium items and paint them all red. Because we usually go pretty heavy on the green painted items during the year, I always kind of um, tend towards red for Christmas because I think it makes kind of an immediate impact to swap over to a lot of red items in the booth for Christmas and it just feels festive for the holidays. So the first thing I'm going to do with the cheese box is, as you can see, it has this um, design spray painted on it and I'm just going to take a piece of 250 grit sandpaper and sand it back a little bit just to make sure that it's not raised above the wood at all so the print of that design doesn't show through the red paint after we paint it. And then I'm going to just uh, spray it a little bit and wipe it back to make sure there's no dust or dirt on it. Now for this milk can, it was disgusting. I think we picked it up for a couple bucks at an auction and it smelled like an old minnow bucket. It was really fishy smelling. I don't know if it was this green moss that was growing on it, but this thing was pretty wretched smelling. Um, so I'm spraying this one really heavily with the soapy water and wiping it back to try and get all of this disgustingness off. And I did that several times, more than what you even see here on the video because it was just, it was pretty bad. All right, so I'm also gonna do this vintage um, tall child's chair, and I'm gonna clean that as well, but I also wanted to just use a sandpaper, and it had a couple splatters of paint on it and some other stuff that was stuck to it, so I'm just gonna knock those down a little bit and make sure that they aren't gonna be bumped out and affect the finish in the end. Now I'm gonna spread out my drop cloth so I don't hurt the floor, and we are gonna get to mixing our paint. For this project, I'm using Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint in the color Tricycle. This is my absolute all-time favorite Christmas color. And I do this same color every single year when I paint my items red. And it's been, I think I've been doing this particular color for about five years now. And it always does really well for me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of this bonding agent. And the bonding agent really just makes sure that it's gonna to stick to all these different surfaces because I don't want anything to be chippy. And then also I'm gonna be painting on metal. So we're just gonna add that in and make sure that the paint is not gonna chip at all or that the surface is not gonna resist it. So I mix that in. The paint to water ratio is one to one. And then once you get that mixed up, you put in one to one parts paint to bonding agent. And now I'm just gonna paint my items. So I did mix this a little bit more watery than I normally do. I'm not going for complete full coverage on most of these items. The only thing I need to get full coverage on is this cheese box, and I will do a second coat on this. The rest of the items, I'm just gonna do one coat, and that's gonna be just fine. I want them all to look vintage, and I want my booth to have a very vintage Christmas feel. So this is gonna work out perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the milk can, and I tried to get the top off of this, and I was not successful at all. Ethan came out and tried to pull the top off of it, and he was not successful. 
he grabbed my hammer and was trying to hammer the top off and that was also not successful so in the end after we couldn't get the top off of this thing I almost wonder if maybe it was glued on or if it just had been outside for so long that it rusted shut we just decided forget it we are gonna paint it with the top on so we gave up trying to take the top off of it I just went ahead and painted it as what well, as it was and that's fine because this is intended to be just Christmas decor it will never be used again for a milk can it is nice when the top is able to come off in case somebody wanted to put florals or whatever in it but this will work so we're just gonna go ahead and paint it with our milk paint again same color same exact container of paint what I mixed up for the paint was actually plenty to do all these projects and you'll see I added in a bonus project next so this really does go far and because that bonding agent is in the paint it sticks to this metal beautifully Now I'm gonna paint our child's chair, and I always start with my chairs upside down and paint the bottom first. It's just easier that way. And then I'm just gonna work my way around, and once I get all these little rungs painted, then we're gonna flip it right side up, and I'm gonna do the top of the chair. And again, I only did one coat of paint on this chair. So what you see is what I did, and it worked out just fine. In fact, I love the end result. I can't wait for you to see it. If you have not tried milk paint, it is super easy to work with, and as you can see, we're using it on all sorts of surfaces here, and it's just going from one project to the next with no problem. All right, so here is the bonus project I was talking about. I had so much paint left over that I decided I was gonna paint this old bucket. I picked it up for I think a buck or two at an auction and I kept eyeing it thinking, if I paint this red, this is gonna be perfect to put our Christmas tree in this year. So this one is not going to our booth. It will be our personal Christmas tree holder, but I thought I would add it in here since I was painting it all at the same time. And you can see how far milk paint goes. I think I used maybe not even quite half of the bag that I had of powder and it did all four of these projects with enough to go back into a second coat here you can see it a second coat on this cheese box and you can see the top of the cheese box you could see that pattern through the one coat so the second coat took care of that and after that it was just fine we couldn't see that pattern at all All right, so Ethan and I swapped and now he's out here and he is going to sand all these items down for me and seal them. He's just taking a piece of sandpaper and lightly distressing the edges of this cheese box, not too much. Then he's gonna take what we have left of our Kills Wax. We grabbed this at Walmart, if you watched our Walmart budget makeover, but you can also get it, I think, on Amazon. If so, I'll have Ethan link it below. And it works really nice. I was actually really surprised by how well this wax works. So he's just going to put wax all over it, buff it off, and then I think he did a second coat, and that was it. That's all that this little cheese box required. And here you can see him just buffing the wax back off. All right, so same thing now on the milk can. He's going to lightly distress it. Actually, he went um, a little bit heavier on the milk can. And if you are worried that we painted an antique milk can that might be worth tons of money, it is not. It was old. It had some spots where the metal was rusted through. And in our area, we live in dairy country, and these milk cans are a dime a dozen. The old ones that are rotted through like this, we can pick them up for a couple bucks at an auction. These aren't the nice collectible ones. So then Ethan's just gonna seal the milk can with some spray sealer, and we'll also link that below because I don't remember which one he used. I think it was Rust-Oleum. And here's our bonus project. 
And again, a light sanding. He's going to wipe back any extra dust that he caused from sanding it and then spray it with that spray sealer. I particularly like the spray sealer on this tin project because I think it looks like a vintage enamel tin and I really like that look. All right, our last piece is our child's chair. And for this one, I had Ethan go really heavy on the distressing because I wanted it to look like it had been worn and used for years and years and years. So we made sure that we distressed it really well. And then I had him do extra distressing on the seat where a bum would be rubbing for years and years of sitting on a chair. So he took extra care to go heavy on the distressing in the actual seat area. And for this one, he wiped the dust back off and then it was so dusty, you aren't gonna see it in the video, but he took it outside and cleaned it up outside. If you're worried about all the dust on there, we got it off before we sealed this baby up. All right, and again, he is sealing it with his can of spray sealer. And I love how bright this paint gets when you seal it. And it doesn't matter what sealer you use, if you use wax, if you use the Miss Mustard Seed, top coat if you use the spray sealer it darkens the color up beautifully no matter what it is you put as a top coat but you do need to seal milk paint we just happen to have not much wax left and we did have this can of spray sealer so that's what we ended up using All right, so I absolutely love how these projects turned out. I'm so excited that it's Christmas time and that we get to put these in our booth soon. This is my hands down all time favorite season to be able to decorate in our spaces. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope we got you in the festive holiday mood and I hope we inspired you to think about ways you can use Miss Mustard Seed milk paint and tricycle or any red paint that you have on hand to start prepping for holiday decorating. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to stick around and we will see you back here next week with a brand new furniture makeover. In the meantime, if you haven't already, you can check out these videos right here. See you later, guys.